Greetings YouTube, Joe here with Color Nation Media and welcome back to another episode of Pokemon XD Gale of Darkness. This is episode number 109. And in this episode, we're going to be purifying all nine Pokemon that are in the purifying chamber and that's going to be pretty much it. So it's going to be a short episode uh, as compared to the last couple of episodes that we've had. Um, but yeah. We need to purify these uh, Pokemon. We're actually starting to run out of Pokemon, but uh, it needs to be done. So anyway, we have Rhydon here, the ground and rock type Pokemon. He's going to regain the move. Mega Horn, which is great for taking on uh, pesky grass type Pokemon. He's also going to get Helping Hand, Scary Face, and Earthquake. So I probably would go to the Move Tutor if you want to use this Rhydon and get rid of uh, either Scary Face or Helping Hand, or both, and uh, at least teach him, like, a rock blast or something maybe even horn attack anything but helping hand right on just not a good helping hander anyway in set number two we have salamence the dragon and flying type pokemon this thing is a beast it has a ridiculous amount of attacking power it's also fast it has the intimidate ability it's going to get back a uh, dragon claw which is great refresh and that's going to be it I would uh, recommend teaching it uh, a flying move if it doesn't have one already. Aerial Ace is a good one. Um, you can go to the Move Tutor to, uh, or the Move Relearner rather, to uh, reteach it fly if you want to. And then you can teach it like Flamethrower or uh, something like that. Alright, so we have Zapdos here, the legendary bird of electricity. It's electric and flying type. Um, and it's going to get back the moves. Extra Sensory, which is an interesting... Uh, Psychic type move, it has 80 power, 100% accuracy, and has a chance to uh, flinch. Uh, Baton Pass, Metal Sound, and Thunderbolt. And I would um, definitely try to teach Zapdos a flying type move. He does learn Drill Peck, so keep that in mind as well. In set number four, we have Marowak, the ground type evolution of Cubone. And uh, this thing is crazy powerful as well especially when it comes to a uh, physical attack the fact that it has a thick club to increase its attack even further makes it that much more stronger more stronger is that even the correct term i don't know anyway earthquake sing which is a really weird move for a uh, marowak to learn i would definitely get rid of that for a rock type move or something similar maybe even hyper beam all right so set number five we have the legendary bird of ice Articuno, the ice and flying type Pokemon, it has the pressure ability, so uh, any moves that are used against it will take up 2 PP instead of the usual 1. And Articuno is going to get the moves extra sensory, yeah, extra sensory like all the birds, Moltres is going to get it as well. Heal Bell, which heals all status conditions on the entire party. Haze which really isn't that great of a move. And Ice Beam, I definitely would get rid of Haze and uh, teach Articuno a flying type move because, I mean, they're still flying types. They're birds. They need to know flying type moves. Otherwise, it makes them a little bit uh, less effective. Anyway, set number six, we have Tauros, the pure normal type from the Kanto region. It has the Intimidate ability and it has a lot of attacking power and speed. Alright, so as for moves, it's going to get back Earthquake, which is awesome because you can only learn that via TM. Refresh, which isn't that good of a move for Tauros to have. Tail Whip, again, a bad move for Tauros to have. And Body Slam, which is a great move for Tauros to have. So I would uh, get rid of Refresh and Tail Whip for something better. Just go through the move relearner or, you know, go through your TMs and see what you can learn. Something's bound to be better than Tail Whip, I have to say. Alright, in the next set, we have Executor, the grass and psychic type evolution of Ex Execute. Alright, and it's going to be regaining the moves. Psychic, which is awesome because, again, you need a TM to teach him that. And he's also going to get back Hypnosis. Actually, I think Sleep Powder has a higher accuracy rate, but that's alright. And Ancient Power. Would recommend uh, either teaching it uh, Giga Drain or Solar Beam with a Sunny Day combination because uh, Executor also has the Chlorophyll ability, so his speed will double uh, when the sunshine is out. So keep that in mind as well. 
All right, in the next set, we have Moltres here. It's the last of the legendary birds. It's a fire and flying type Pokemon. It also has the pressure ability, much like Articuno and Zapdos do. And it's going to be regaining the moves, extra sensory like its bird partners. And Morning Sun, which recovers HP even more so in the sun, so keep that in mind. Will-O-Wisp, uh, which we know from Ninetales to inflict a burn condition. And Flamethrower, so uh, I would recommend getting rid of probably Will-O-Wisp, but it's not necessary on this on a Moltres because of how powerful they are. Nope, did not mean to do that. No nickname. Uh, but yeah, I would get rid of Will-O-Wisp for a uh, flying type move. Wing attack, aerial ace, sky attack, something like that. All right, and in the ninth and final set, we have the water and ice type Pokemon, Lapras. Lapras does not evolve, but it is bulky as crap on its own. It has a lot of special defense and a lot, 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 lot of HP as well. It's going to be getting back the moves. Hydro Pump, which is an awesome move for Lapras to have. Heal Bell, which is an unusual move for Lapras to have, but uh, it's great for healing your whole team. Rain Dance. And of course, Lapras can highly benefit from the rain. And I uh, believe either Ice Beam or Blizzard was the fourth move uh, that we didn't get to see there. So just make sure it knows one of those. You could also replace Rain Dance for Hail if you wanted to. All right, so we have all the Pokemon purified. And now it's time to put some more in the purifying chamber because I think we can get away with two more sets of nine, something like that. So let's see, we have Rapidash, we'll put him in set one and place him towards the Ladyba, that would make the most sense. We'll do Kangaskhan in the normal set, there it is, set number six. And let's see, Macargo, Fire and Rock type, we'll put him next to Seedot, because Fire will work well against the Grass type. Hitmonchan, hmm, we'll put him in set number four and rotate him towards Carvana, because Carvana has a part uh, Dark type. Let's do Soul Rock as well. Uh, that's. Oh, yeah, that'll work here. Alright. So we'll point Soul, Soul Rock towards Gulpin. And then we'll do uh, Hitmon Lee, who also is holding the Black Belt, which I did not uh, mention, I don't think. But it increases the power of uh, fighting type moves. So if you have a fighting type Pokemon on your team, a Black Belt could uh, help you out a little bit. Starmie went in set number 7, facing towards Swinub. And let's see, we'll do Mr. Mime. Oh, maybe we won't. No, he doesn't have any uh, Pokemon to go towards. So we'll switch Starmie into set eight. And no, 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 thank you. Rotate towards Lunatone. And then Mr. Mime can rotate towards Roselia and that'll work out. All right, one more. Let's see, let's do Swellow. Oh, no, maybe I won't do Swellow because his types don't work there. Okay, let's do Scyther. No, his types don't work there either. I really need to pay attention to what I'm doing here. This isn't working out. All right, let's see what we have over here. Uh, Manectric. Yeah, we can do that. We can rotate him towards Shelter. And yeah, that looks good. So now we have uh, all nine sets filled up, ready to go. And uh, we'll probably have to do this one more time. And then we'll have all the Shadow Pokemon purified. And all that will be left is that pesky Shadow Lugia. But that's going to be it for this episode, guys. Thank you very much for watching, and please stay tuned for episode number 110. Game on.